Hey guys, it's Joe Walker here. What the flipping hell is going on? In today's video, I'm gonna be trying my hand at learning a brand new flip trick. Recently, I learned the kickflip body varial. The kickflip body varial is basically just a normal kickflip, but your body turns front side 180, you land on the board and roll away switch. So I'm super stoked to get that one. That's the latest trick in my bag of tricks, the kickflip body varial. And it got me thinking about tricks of that type, body varial variety. So what I wanna try and learn today is the disco flip, which is the heel flip variant of that trick. You basically do a heel flip and a backside 180 together, and you got the disco flip. Now, if you've been watching my videos for some time, you will know that for me, I find kick flips a lot easier than I do heel flips, and I find turning front side a lot easier than I do turning back side. So I'm expecting this trick to be quite difficult to learn. I've got limited space, I'm out in the back garden, so I'm gonna be learning this trick sort of stationary, maybe semi-rolling kind of. I feel like it would be a lot easier if I just had a lot of open ground and rolling, but we'll work with what we've got. I'm gonna warm up by doing some kickflip body varials. I'm gonna try and get five of those down, and then some heel flips. I'm gonna try and get five clean heel flips then just try and like work my body to do the backside 180 varial sort of motion on the board whilst I'm moving. And then we will try and land a disco flip. Let's get into the warm up. There we go guys, did some kick flips and did some kick flip body varials. I didn't show you all the attempts at the kick flip body varials because it's like 17, 18 minutes of footage, but just showed you the ones that were like closest and landed. That trick is definitely a trick to be done in motion, which is saying a lot for the disco flip battle that I'm about to engage in. It's just much easier to get the weight distribution and the body rotation down if everything sort of has momentum moving forwards. So if you're learning how to kickflip body varial and probably disco flip, try learning it in motion. At the point where you're learning these tricks, you probably know how to kickflip and heel flip. So you are probably be used to learning tricks in motion anyway. Right now, I'm gonna land some heel flips, just do like five minutes of heel flip practice. I'm just gonna practice just like jumping backside onto my board because that'll be the sort of same motion that my body will have to do practicing keeping my feet nicely spaced apart to land on the bolts after i've done a heel flip so i'm thinking i'm gonna have to get a lot of nice pop and height clean heel flip so i landed nicely and caught in the air is what the heel flip would have to be and then do the body rotation obviously like switching the feet around landing and switch i'm probably overthinking it just gonna do some heel flips, gonna do some body rotations, and have a quick catch up. Right guys, we are fully warmed up. Got some nice juicy heel flips in the bag. I think I've got that backside rotation with the body fully under control. I just need to be able to blend those two things together. I must say that I feel like I'm finding heel flips a lot easier than kick flips recently. I don't know what it is. For me, the heel flips changed a lot. It's kind of just like an extension of an ollie. If you think about it, ollie, you just pop, slide your front foot up, level out and down. The only difference really between that and a heel flip is that you pop, same, slide the foot up and it just flicks off the edge of the nose. You just kind of, it's kind of easier to do that in a way because it's just like off the edge of the board. 
don't know what it is kickflip there's a little bit more technicality involved in my mind so yeah i'm finding heel flips a lot at least cleaner than my kick flips recently don't know what it is maybe it's because i've been doing a lot of different variations of the kickflip it's kind of like made my normal kickflips a bit skew uh, but now i'm gonna give it my all at landing a disco flip let's go the ground but that's like third try Guys, I'm not sure what just happened, but I'm pretty sure I just landed a disco flip or something like that. Took me right back to the 70s. Disco flip and my hair. That's what I'm talking about. What was that, seventh, eighth try? Disco flip? I don't know why that just clicked. That's so much easier than a kickflip body varial. It's one of those weird tricks. It's like the varial heel flip. You think varial heel flip, you don't think, oh, easy. You think, oh Christ. And for that, me, it just clicked. I know we always talk about the varial heel flip, but there's something about it. I literally find varial heel flips easier than a kick flip. Disco flip, far, far easier than a uh, kick flip body varial. Now, I think it's because something about the, the direction of the heel flip flipping like away from you, it makes it easier for your feet to just quickly switch backside like that. And I'm doing this stationary and I can feel already 100% that this is going to be a lot easier in motion uh, than it is stationary. So I can't wait to take it to a nice, juicy, tasty, spicy bit of flat ground and just get some disco flips down. I love the name of the trick, you know. You're in a game of skate and you throw out a disco flip. Like, who's got time for that? <laughs> anyway, I'm going to try and do another few. I might try and do five, just so, you know, five to keep it alive. Um, so, yeah. Disco flip, let's do some more. I'll take that one. guys the disco flip five disco flips <sighs> oh what a battle that's got to be a new favorite the disco flip <laughs> i like that one i like that one a lot i really can't wait to take that to the uh some nice smooth tasty flat ground and just blast them out in motion 
disco flip. Oh, my goodness, another flip trick in the bag. This year so far we've got the disco flip and we've got the kick flip sex change. That's some good progress this year. January's almost over, two, two flip tricks in the bag. Got a few, uh, few ideas for tricks I wanna learn this year, things I wanna do on my skateboard this year. Got some big plans, uh, big plans for the channel. So uh, please do uh, stay tuned this year. Uh, disco flip. If you want to learn how you learn it? If you want to learn how to do it, uh, learn how to heel flip first. And I do have a heel flip tutorial video. I'll pop an i card above. Uh, there is a playlist on my channel for a load of, of the basic uh, flat ground tricks that you can learn. Uh, I'd encourage you to, to check that out. Uh, but heel flip, get your heel flips down nice and tight, nice and solid. As you can see, you can learn this trick stationary. Heel flips, I found uh, it was necessary to learn them stationary first, and I would definitely encourage that and then take it in motion. Um, have a really nice ollie before you can heel flip, and once you can ollie, you can really take it straight to the heel flip. There's not really a lot more that you need to learn. I would encourage maybe learn a front side 180 ollie because the foot positioning is very similar to the heel flip. I know the body motion is very different, but yeah, it can't hurt to just get comfortable with that foot position and by learning a, an easier trick, what is naturally an easier trick, the front side 180. So Ollie, front side 180 and heel flip. And then when you've got your heel flips down, just do like body barrels, just jump, just ride around on your board and jump and turn and land back on it. And do that both ways, get really comfortable. Do it 360 if you can, just get super comfortable with that. Reverse both backside and front side, they won't hurt. Uh, learning the backside 180 Ollie certainly won't hurt, um, but they're not really necessary, these other extra parts. The heel flip and the Ollie are crucial. If you can't do those, don't touch this trick. Uh, but then once you can do a heel flip, this is really like a good like next thing you can do, the disco flip. So definitely give that a go, uh, how to do it. Uh, as I said previously, it was just a heel flip. Uh, I was still in the air and then it's a quick switcheroo with the feet. I wasn't finding that I had to fully turn all my body in the air and land back on the board. That would look more stylish and we will come to that as I uh, progress with the trick, but it wasn't really necessary because uh, I could see the board had done the rotation in the air and it was a quick switcheroo with the feet. And weirdly, usually everything follows the shoulders, but it was like everything was following the feet. So my feet were kind of switched and then my body came around with it all. That's how it felt anyway. So yeah, nice clean heel flip and just quickly switch through those feet. I think it was my back foot, which was catching the board first, maybe in the front, maybe in both at the same time. I'll have to watch the footage back. I will be putting some slow-mo clips in so uh, you guys can have a good look at what to do. But there's not really a lot to it other than learn to heel flip. And just as I was doing literally on the ground, onto the board, jump onto the board and do a 180. And you should have no problems learning how to disco flip on a skateboard. Which tricks are you working on guys? I'm always keen to know where you're at with your skateboarding. Please do leave it down in the comments below. Are you learning to disco flip? Have you already learned to disco flip? And if you've got any hints and tips, leave that down in the comments below as well. I wanna say a huge thank you for watching this video and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye.